Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is here and it brought a massive number of new features to the game. The most exciting addition is the Armor 2.0 system. While Destiny has always allowed its players to customize their characters to suit their playstyle, things have been taken to the next level. And for someone like me that enjoys making different builds, I'm incredibly excited by the potential. But I'm also excited to say that making builds isn't as black and white as it used to be. Today, instead of looking at a complete build, we're going to look at the foundation for a build and talk about what steps I'm going to take to make this build complete. Let's get started. Since finisher moves are a new addition to Destiny 2, I thought it'd be fun to see how they fit into moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. In general, they don't serve much purpose other than making you look like a badass, but with finisher mods, things change significantly. The first finisher mod I got is called Snap Load Finisher. It uses 10% of your super energy and generates primary ammo and reloads all your weapons. That's a nice bit of quality of life, but super energy isn't easy to come by and 10% of it is certainly more valuable than a few bricks of primary ammo. With that in mind, there is something we can do to increase our super energy regeneration rate. Whenever I play through new content with my Warlock, I play as the Attunement of Hunger, the Bottom Tree Voidwalker. And my exotic of choice is the Nezarek Sin Helmet. Void damage kills with the Nezarek Sin grant a buff called Abyssal Extractors, which increases ability and super regeneration rate. So, with a Void Energy Weapon and Nezarek Sin, I should start generating enough super energy so that I can use a mod like Snapload Finisher at a more reasonable interval. With that said, I don't really want to use Snapload Finisher because there's a stronger alternative for the build I'm interested in trying. Special Finisher uses a whopping one-third of your super energy to generate special ammo for you and your teammates. That cost is very high, but the payout is also incredibly high. Now, there are a lot of armor mods that can help increase our super regeneration rate. But for now, I want to take Special Finisher through its paces and see what it's like. So we're going to take it for a spin in a solo nightfall. To make things even more interesting, I'll be using two special weapons. For the Kinetic Slot, the Tranquility Sniper Rifle, and for the Energy Slot, the Wave Splitter Exotic Trace Rifle. Now let's get into the field for some testing. Alright, we are in the Festering Core Nightfall. This is going to be a very interesting test of the capabilities of the Special Finisher modification. I really want to see if it's possible for me to use two special weapons in the same loadout. Not that I necessarily want to do this in whatever completed build I come up with in the future, but I want to see just how powerful the finisher move can be. And if using finisher mods as an integral component in a build is even something that I want to do. So let's get to it, man. Let's get to these enemies and start killing. And I've only done this strike one time, so I don't know all the best ways to approach things, but I'm gonna try my best and hopefully I don't die a bajillion times. I may not even go through the entire nightfall because I might get stuck on a, on a certain part, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So far though, I'm being very liberal with the wave splitter and I picked up a green brick somewhere in the mix, so that's gonna keep me nice and healthy. But the wave splitter does use ammunition pretty quickly. So I am going to want to switch to my sniper rifle probably once we get to the next room. But already though, getting another green brick, so I might not even have to. But just in the interest of changing things up a little bit and trying to kill that hobgoblin, may as well. And so far so good. Oh my gosh, I keep messing up the reload. I have field prep on this gun, on this sniper rifle, as well as high impact reserves so I want to always empty the magazine so I get as much bullet damage as possible and I want to crouch before reloading I'm just gonna have to keep those things in mind look at that lightning fast reload while I'm crouching now I want to try and take out that Hydra I'm gonna have to wait for it to rotate back around so I can get a shot there we go Oof! I still have devour that's good so I can just Kill that guy. He dropped a brick for me and I'll throw out a grenade. So far though, my ammunition is staying very, very healthy. I did start with close to maximum on the wave splitter, so that that feels almost like a cheat code a little bit. But you know what, just for fun, I'm gonna empty this a little bit and see if we can fill it back up in the next room.
Okay, I've emptied out my ammunition with the wave splitter a little bit. I've got 167 rounds left. So that's significantly less than what I had before. So let's see if we can build it back up. I'm going to go in for some finishes on some of these enemies. Like this guy right here. We'll take him out. We got two green bricks from him. That was 166 ammo added back to our gun. So let's go ahead and just be be a little bit free with it. You know, we've got we've got the ammo. We may as well use it. Now that's just a red bar. Don't necessarily need to use a finisher on them because they're pretty easy to take down regardless. But this guy is a little bit heftier. May as well take him out. Now I am possibly being a little bit too free with the way I'm using my finishers because I do want to still have. Nova Bomb for for those emergency situations because no Nova Bomb is still a very valuable asset and that, that's what the balancing agent is on the special finisher is the fact that I am using my super energy for Nova Bomb my ultimate move just to generate ammo so I'm making a trade-off I have a, a very consistent neutral game right now because I'm constantly generating my own ammunition but I don't have that big burst when I need it. So, f ooh. so far, I haven't really felt the need for a Nova Bomb, but I wouldn't complain if I had one at my disposal. You know what I'm saying? So we've got our Devour running. We're doing well. We'll just walk up. You know, I didn't feel very confident about approaching that Minotaur. I felt like he was going to start doing his teleport shenanigans, and he was. I felt like he was going to kill me if I didn't do that. So, you know, th that's kind of the whole point, though. I just, I can't use my finisher now until I generate back to one-third of my super energy. So, like, I can get either of these harpies low, and if my super energy is not at one-third, <clears throat> you see, I don't have the marker to use my finisher, but as soon as my super energy generates up to the right point or I just level up <laughs> then I can actually use the the finishing moves on the targets again <clears throat> now I am actually running low so I do want to finish this guy for a brick there we go we got two now it isn't there I don't believe there are hard and fast rules that like if you use a finisher on a major you automatically generate two bricks but I'm, I'm not entirely sure I do think the difficulty or the strength of the enemy does have an effect on the amount of ammunition that drops from it though because i have used finishers on overload champions in the the new nightfalls and i got four or five bricks from it and that was pretty impressive so that's something to keep in mind as well okay moving into this next area there's going to be a lot of enemies down on the ground and i don't remember where all of them spawn so i'm going to sit back for a little bit maybe pew pew with the sniper Again, I have high impact reserves on this. It doesn't really matter when I'm just shooting at red bars because they die in one shot regardless, but if there were some tougher enemies that I had to deal with, then using that bottom half of the magazine for extra damage would be valuable. Okay, so far so good. We, we haven't run out of ammo yet. Our sniper has been pretty healthy because I haven't been using it as much as the wave splitter. But overall, the, the base ammo drops feel pretty good. But when I do start getting to that point where I'm, I'm feeling the pain of running out of bullets, then I go in for a finisher. I look for a finisher to use and that will top me off, especially if I take out a, a stronger target. Now I do have my Nova Bomb that I can use. I'm going to hold on to it for just a second because I may run into a, a panic Nova situation like right now. <laughs> my goodness. That's a lot of enemies. So yeah, I, th I, th I think this is a thing. I think using double special weapon for one, that could be a thing. But oh, also, what I really wanted to see is how valuable the special finisher is going to be and if Nezarak Sin will help me generate enough special, uh, enough super energy to sort of feed the habit, if you will. 
And there we go, that's gonna do it for the testing for today. We didn't go through the entire Nightfall, but the point that I was trying to prove was proven. The special finisher is an incredibly valuable asset, but it does take a little bit of work to make it feel optimized. So what do I mean by that? We need a lot more super regeneration if we wanna feel as if having the special finisher is not taking away from our Nova Bomb usage. So what I wanna do going forward with this build is look for things that increase our super regeneration rate. So intellect mods, ashes to assets, hands on, pump action. There are a lot of things that influence super regeneration rate and I'm gonna dive into all of them. Hopefully I get lucky with RNG and they drop for me. If not, we'll, we'll see what we can do, man. There are plenty of other builds that I'm experimenting with for the Hunter, for the Titan, and I'm even theory crafting for the Warlock a little bit more too. So there are a lot more builds coming in the future. Armor 2.0 is fantastic. It's not perfect, but man oh man, is it a big step up from what it used to be. So with all of that said, we're gonna wrap things up here by saying, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know. But also if you'd like to support the channel more than you already do, just by watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, you can head over to patreon.com slash iblueairjgr to become a patron. As always, the name of the game is Destiny 2. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.